it is very easy to make up very stupid theories to reaffirm your own beliefs. And if you combine these lines, it looks like it stands for the number 81 on one hand in Arabic and 18 on the other hand in Arabic. If you combine 81 and 18, it makes 99. And according to Islam, Allah has 99 names. <laughs> That's so stupid. Funnily enough, I tried to look for Christians who made this argument, but I couldn't find any. And Have you ever listened to Christian Prince, Arabian Prophet? Yeah, I listened to him and I think he's quite knowledgeable and interesting. So you want to talk about the Trinity? Let me ask you, when you pray as a Muslim, do you say Allahu Akbar three times? So why you say Allahu Akbar three times before you pray? I say the Allahu Akbar 32 times after the prayer. That is the age of Jesus, my no, friend. No. <laughs> Your God have 99 names. This is the X3, which means 33, the age of Jesus, X3, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's he is a three or oh, he is a three or oh, I'm not asking you if he's a, listen I have Abdul. Listen I'm a diagnosed psychopath. When I was an atheist and a psychopath, psychopath of psychopaths and psychopaths, psychopath, 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 psychopath. Full disclosure, I'm a diagnosed psychopath. Hammer time! Hammer time! Hammer time! I hit my dad in the head with a hammer seven or eight times. I bashed my dad's head in with a ball peen hammer to bash people's head in with a hammer. By bashing someone's head in with a hammer, bashing this man's head in. Would rather bash a man's head in. Bashing my dad's head in with a hammer. I'm a guy who smashed his own dad's head in with a hammer. So I attacked my dad with a hammer. Attacking my dad with a hammer. Hammer. The ball peen hammer. Hammer in my hand. The hammer. I had a ball peen hammer. I was about to beat him to death. I had the hammer under a cushion. Look at me right now. I'm going to bust your head open. I'm still a diagnosed psychopath. I don't go around bashing people's heads in. The day before I converted, I was sitting around thinking about torturing people. I convert and instantly, wow, I'm not allowed to torture these people. I'm not allowed to skin these people. If I stopped believing in God and Christianity, yeah. would I go back? Probably yes. You're talking to someone who went from, I want to kill and slaughter everyone in the world, to not wanting to hurt anyone. The only relevant change there was a change in belief. It's Jesus or it's nothing. It was Jesus or nothing. Imagine this scenario, atheists. You walk into a church and you meet some Christians. You ask the Christians, why do you believe in God? And they reply, well, we just know that God exists and we feel the presence of God. You're a little confused, so you ask, but what evidence do you have that God exists? And the Christians respond, evidence, we don't need evidence. We already told you we know that God exists and we feel his presence. Know and we feel, no further question. And I feel the presence of God and I'm on the floor crying, weeping, under the presence of God. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. What the hell is this? Sometimes Christians do stupid things.